Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. We're gonna try something by Tasty McCormick. Never fails. Garlic, onion, and red pepper seasoning mix. Doesn't that look good? I've tried a couple from this um, brand. Um, I found it at our local Publix, but I think Walmart, somebody told me Walmart carries it, so. Anyways, we are gonna do this in the air fryer, of course. That's what I'm here for. All right, so preheat the some something. We don't need about that. Um, mix the oil, seasoning mix, and salt in a large bowl, bowl until well blended. Add chicken and vegetables, toss to coat. Okay, so it's two tablespoons of olive oil. And a teaspoon of salt. And a packet. Let's check that out. Smells like it's smelling already. Wow, wee. Woo, that smells good. All right, so I'm going to mix this up and I'll show you what my vegetables are. Four um, thighs with the skin and the bones and everything. Okay, my vegetables, you need about four cups, I think it said. I've got carrots, uh, red potatoes, and these are purple yams that I had uh, cut up with the french fry cutter that I bought. Anyways, I just put them into one inch cubes. That's what it says. So that's, they say to put, to use root vegetables, like just, you know, whatever you feel like having. They give you a list of options, even yuccas on there. Which I was like, I've never heard of yucca till the other day. All right, let me mix this up and I'll change the angle to the air fryer and we'll go from there. All right, guys, here we go. I'm using the flat pan by DeLonghi. It says, arrange chicken around the outside edge of a large foil-lined shallow baking dish sprayed with non-stick cooking spray. Do not use Pam non-stick spray in your air fryer. I'm using olive oil spray with the Evo sprayer right here. Um, arrange, let's see, let's, uh, arrange the vegetables in single layer in the center of the pan and the chicken on the outside. Okay, all right, simple enough. Look how beautiful that is. Holy cow. I am telling you, McCormick, I don't know who's in charge over there, but they know what they're doing with spices. I, I, I'm just never disappointed. And this smells like it's going to be amazing. All right. With the vegetables. This will be okay. Of the crevices with the vegetables. I can't see what I'm doing because I'm four foot ten. Okay. Alright, God, it smells so good, you guys. Oh, not believable. Okay, we want that chicken to crisp up. Okie dokie. Excuse me, Mr. Correct. Get over there. Alright, the temperatures. This is how you convert stuff. Okay. They tell you to cook it at 425. Uh, my air fryer goes to 370. I would not go to 425 because you're in a smaller compartment, it's not an oven, okay? It says bake 40 minutes until the chicken is cooked through and lightly browned and vegetables are tender. Sprinkle with shredded cheese, which is uh, shredded Swiss or Asiago. I got Asiago. All right, so uh, 40 minutes. Bottom on for sure. Top on, um, 370. Hmm. I'm gonna start it off at the highest setting, but I may turn it down. I'll let you know though, and the time, and all that stuff. All right, you guys, total of 45 minutes. I mean, pretty good, considering the oven tem time is 40 minutes. You just gotta make sure your chicken's up to 165, okay? Internal temperature, invest in a um, meat thermometer when you have an air fryer, it's a must have. All right, here we go. Let me try a carrot. It goes right through. Mmm. It's fully cooked. Very nice. Mmm. I'm going to tell you about the taste first. That tastes lovely. Perfectly. Purple yam. Mmm. Now that's delicious. I've never had purple yam. That's delicious, you guys. I kind of like them better than sweet potatoes. Bet you they make good fries. All right, let's put that on the back burner for now. 
we're gonna do that someday. I love this because I'm I tried new foods for you guys, you know? It's all new to me as well. Look at the juices of that, hmm? Huh? Here we go. Mmm. There's not a whole lot sticking out. Look, it's delicious, okay? I taste garlic and onion. Really, the red be bell pepper doesn't have a whole lot of seasoning. This is something the whole family would love. I prefer spicy stuff. Um, Tom's tummy can't handle it, but um, these are so good. The flavor is delicious. I mean, it, to me, I like spicier stuff, but you could always adjust that. You could add like some cayenne pepper to that or more pepper, okay? But it's really good. And it was easy. I mean, I just put it all in there and just let it go. Um, on a scale of one to five, I'm gonna go with 4.5. I mean, it didn't wow me, but it didn't like insult me either, okay? So, it's good. It's not the best one out of theirs, but it is really good. All right, guys. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye. Remind people that you forgot to put the Asiago cheese in there at the end. So you put it after the fact, and it did get better.